Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in a 2011 21 and a half inch iMac using the OWC inline digital thermal sensor for iMac. We've already gathered our materials, have shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft static free work surface. We are now ready to begin. Attach each of the two heavy-duty suction cups to the upper corners of the glass front of the iMac. Then, gently but firmly pull forward on the handles to separate the glass from the magnets that hold it in. You can then set the glass aside. At this point, you'll need to be extremely careful not to touch the screen itself, as the oil from your fingers is very difficult to remove. Next, we need to detach the display itself. To do this, we'll need to remove eight Torx T10 screws. Then, being careful not to touch the screen itself, Gently pull the LCD unit forward slightly. In the upper left corner, you'll need to disconnect the vertical sync cable. Simply slide it from its connector using the tabs at the top. Next, disconnect the backlight power cable by pushing down on the connector to release the retaining tab and pulling the cable and connector downward. Then, detach the DisplayPort cable near the center right by first lifting the handle by the black plastic tab then lifting the connector straight up and out. Finally, lift the display power cable up and out much like you did for the vertical sync cable. Keeping your hands on the outside edge of the display, you can now lift it up and out of the iMac and place it in a dust, static, and oil-free place. The hard drive is located here. First, remove these two Torx T10 screws holding the drive in place. Next, lean the drive forward slightly and lift it up and out of the bay. Finally, disconnect the SATA cables and remove the hard drive from the iMac. Here we have the original drive and the new drive. The first thing to do is remove the two mounting pins from the original drive using your Torx T8 screwdriver. You can then install them in the same place on the new drive. Next, remove the mounting bracket from the original drive. and attach it to the same place on the new one. Finally, flip both drives over, peel the electrostatic pad from the original drive, and attach it in the same place on the new one. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. The drive is now ready to install into the iMac. First, attach the OWC sensor cable to the SATA power cable. Next, attach the other end of the sensor cable to the power connector on the drive. Then, slide the first end of the OWC cable into the small space under the metal structure to the right. This may take a little maneuvering to get it to fit correctly. You can now connect the data cable directly to the drive. Make sure there are no cables trapped behind the drive, set it into its bay, and tighten it down with the two Torx T10 screws we removed earlier. Finally, peel off the paper covering the adhesive backing on the sensor board and adhere the board to the drive near the spindle. 
You can now set the LCD back into the iMac, once again being careful not to touch the screen itself. Reattach the display power cable by simply sliding it into place. To reattach the display port connector, first make sure the handle is flipped upwards. You can then slide it into the connector, then flip the handle down to lock it into place. Reattach the backlight power cable on the lower left by simply sliding it back into place until it clicks. Finally, plug the vertical sync cable back in. You can now lean the display back so it lays flat. Take a narrow screwdriver and slide it through the top screw hole in the display and into the hole in the iMac. You can then use the screwdriver to lift the screen up and down. Do this to align the second screw holes and insert a screw so that the screen doesn't fall. Repeat the process on the other side. Finally, replace the remaining screws and tighten them all down. You can now set the glass into place as shown, but don't close it yet. Use your microfiber cloth to make sure there's no dust trapped in between the screen and the glass. You can then close the glass, which will be held in place by the magnets. You may need to squeeze slightly near the top to make sure the glass sits flush. Finally, remove the suction cups and wipe the front down so it's clear of smudges. You may now hook your iMac back up, plug it in, and turn it on.